for his name's sake. I am writing to you, little children, because your sins are forgiven for his name's sake. 1 John 2.12 Why should we emphasise that God loves, forgives and saves for his name's sake, for his own glory? Here are two reasons among many. One, we should emphasise that God loves and forgives for his own glory because the Bible does. I, I am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake and I will not remember your sins Isaiah 43 25 your sins are forgiven for his name's sake 1 John 2 12 2 we should emphasize that God loves and forgives for his own glory because it makes clear that God loves us with the greatest love father I desire that they also whom you have given me may be with me where I am to see my glory John 17 24 God loves us not in a way that makes us supreme, but makes himself supreme. Heaven will not be a hall of mirrors, but an increasing vision of infinite greatness. Getting to heaven and finding that we are supreme would be the ultimate letdown. The greatest love makes sure that God does everything in such a way as to uphold and magnify his own supremacy, so that when we get to heaven, we have something to increase our joy forever. God's glory. The greatest love is God giving himself to us for our internal enjoyment at the cost of his son's life, Romans 8.32. That is what he means when he says that he loves us and forgives us for his own name's sake.